A civil litigator is not an animal that lives in the swamp. Join me today on The Legalist to find out what we really do. Hi, I'm Lee Davis, an attorney and owner of Lee Davis Law LLC here in Atlanta, Georgia. The law is complicated. Let me help explain it. People ask me all the time, what type of law do you practice? And when I tell them that I'm a litigator or I do civil litigation, their eyes glass over and I know the conversation is over. So let me help explain exactly what litigation is. Everybody knows what criminal law is. Murder, robbery, theft, speeding, DUI. It's things that the government wants to throw you in jail or fine you for doing. Hollywood makes lots of movies and TV shows about criminal law. Law and Order, To Kill a Mockingbird, and my personal favorite, My Cousin Vinny. However, there's a whole other side of the law that Hollywood rarely depicts, civil law. It's pretty much anything that isn't criminal law. So divorce, personal injury, breach of contract, liens, and a whole host of business and personal transactional work. People usually know the word civil because they've heard it in reference to a war, like the American Civil War, or it's a way that people describe their relationship to another person. We disagree about whether you should ever put ketchup on a hot dog, but we try to be civil to one another anyway. But in the law, civil refers to just about anything that isn't criminal law. It's not about crime, but most of the time it's about either love or money. When something goes wrong in the world of civil law, there are lawsuits. And fighting those lawsuits is what's called litigation. That's what I do, civil litigation. There are not many TV shows made about the caring and hardworking lien lawyer who protects the rights of the supplier to be paid for the pallet of shingles that they sold to the builder who went out of business after the shingles were installed on the homeowner's house. But there are plenty of us out there, and we represent the supplier, the builder, the homeowner, everybody who has an interest in seeing that the thing gets worked out the right way. But we call it a lawsuit. It's where we resolve our differences civilly instead of at the point of a gun or a fist fight in the middle of the street. When you back out of your driveway in the morning and run into your neighbor's car, it's much better to resolve it in court in front of a jury of your peers rather than having a fist fight in your front yard. So let me help you explain civil law a little bit better by giving you some terminology. A civil lawsuit involves pleadings. And unlike everyday life, pleading does not mean begging your significant other to forgive you for wrecking their sweet 68 Mustang when you backed into your neighbor's car. A pleading is something that you file with the court asking the court to do something. The parties to a civil lawsuit are called the plaintiff and the defendant. The plaintiff starts the lawsuit by filing what's called a complaint, which is aptly named because that's what you do. You complain about something and then ask the court to award you something. In this case, damages for the damage done to your car when your neighbor backed into it. The defendant is the person that the plaintiff is seeking to recover damages from. The defendant once served with the complaint, must file a thing called an answer, again, aptly named, because it answers the complaint. And it also raises any defenses that the defendant might have to the claims of the plaintiff. For instance, well, yes, I did hit his car, but the reason I hit his car is because he was driving through my front yard at the time and he shouldn't have been there. Once the defendant files their answer, you begin a process called discovery. In everyday life, discovery sounds like a pleasant word. Oh, I was washing my jeans and I discovered a $20 bill that I had forgotten. In the law, it's something very much different. Discovery is a process where the parties get to delve into the business affairs and sometimes private affairs of the opposing party, looking for information that might be relevant to the claims in the case, such as, do you often drink in the morning? Or when was the last time you had your eyes examined? You use discovery to try to find evidence. Most people know what evidence is. It's documents, it's photographs, it's testimony, it's things that people see and hear and touch. It's things that have some bearing on the outcome of the case. It makes a fact more or less likely to have occurred. Some evidence is admissible and some evidence is not. There's a whole book of rules about what type of evidence is admissible and what is not. For instance, relevance. What I had for dinner two weeks before the accident when I ran over your car in my front yard doesn't have any relevance to the accident itself, and therefore it's not admissible. Or hearsay. Most people understand what hearsay is. I heard it from a friend who heard it from a friend who heard it from another that you had four shots of Kahlua in your coffee that morning before you left your house. Well, if your friend of a friend of another isn't there in court to testify about it, it isn't admissible. 
You may have heard the word liability before. Liability is simply a fancy way of saying that you are responsible for something. You might be liable for backing into your neighbor's car, unless it is found that your neighbor contributed to it by driving his car through your front lawn. If you are found to be liable for something, the judge or jury will award damages. Damages are perhaps the most complicated issue, and that's because damages sound so simple, and yet it isn't. A lot of lawyers out there don't even understand the concept of damages. As I mentioned earlier, civil law is all about money. And when you can prove your physical damage, that is, I backed into your car and caused physical damage to your fender, it doesn't mean that you automatically win because the concept of damages in the law means that you have to reduce that to an amount of money. And every civil wrong has a recipe or a formula for how you have to prove your damages. In this particular case, it is what the cost is to repair the physical damage that I did to your car, or the difference in value between your car immediately prior to the accident and immediately after. If you prove a physical damage, but don't reduce it to money, or you use the wrong formula to prove your damages, you lose your case. It's a necessary element of any civil case, which is why it's so complicated and yet so important. So that, in a nutshell, is what a civil litigator does. We're simply lawyers that people hire to help them bring or defend a lawsuit about a civil wrong and recovery of money damages. So next time you meet a civil litigator at a party, don't just glass over and walk away. Ask if they have any good stories. Chances are they have plenty. But that's our episode for today. If you have any questions or issues, feel free to look us up on social media at Lee Davis Law or go to our website, a differentlawfirm.com. Until next time. <laughs>